I've had this dwarf olive tree for around three years and I've never repotted it, but the time has come to let this guy live up to its full potential. Maybe not full potential because they can get pretty big. Olive trees like to be pretty dry and you can get special soil that's specifically for plants that like a drier environment, but my garden center didn't have any. So I'm gonna add some of these little lava rock things to the potting soil. You could add perlite or sand, just something to adjust the soil a little bit to help keep things a bit drier. Sometimes when a plant's been in the same pot for a while, it gets a bit clingy and doesn't want to come out. If yours is stuck like mine, then try running a knife around the inside of the pot to loosen things up a bit. Then tip it on its side and try and wrangle it out of there. I thought this would be totally pot bound, but it looks fine and that's okay. When a plant's been in the same soil for a few years, it's a good idea to refresh the soil because this old stuff probably doesn't have many nutrients left in it and this isn't gonna grow that big with no nutrients. In nature, olive trees have shallow roots, so wide pots work better than tall ones and I've gone for a wide unglazed clay pot because clay pots are porous, so it's gonna help the soil dry out faster and more evenly between waterings. Chuck some soil in there and try and break off some of the old soil to free up the roots a bit. We want the roots to be growing out into this new soil. Then stick it in its fancy new pot and fill up around the edge with fresh soil. Give it a little pat down and a good drink of water until it comes out of the drainage holes. That's going to help settle the soil around the roots. And if the soil level goes down a bit when you water it, don't worry, just sprinkle a bit of extra soil on there to fill in the gaps. And voila, beautiful. Even though olive trees love sun, I'm sticking mine in some bright indirect light for a couple of days to recover, and then it will go back to its usual spot. This guy needs a bit of a prune. It's getting a bit leggy and neglected looking, so if you wanna see how I prune this to make it really nice and bushy looking, then there should be a video going up soon for that, unless I get distracted by all my other lovely plants that really need a bit of TLC after a seriously chilly winter. If that video is not up yet, then remind me and I will make it especially for you.